These candles really cut down on my electric bill. Being able to have characters that talk is an important part of making AI movies. Pika just released this a few weeks ago and today Runway released it as well. For both Pika and Runway, you have to start with an image or a video to sync things to. You can't just do it from text to video and add someone talking. And so what I did, just to be, just to be fair, so we're not comparing the generators as well, I decided to create all of the videos in stable video and I created one image in mid journey as well. So that way we're just comparing how well they synchronize the characters talking. And here's our cast of characters. I chose this pilot because um, he's wearing a helmet and sometimes when you do audio syncs, these helmets and these mouthpiece kind of things get distorted and it, it looks funny. It doesn't look very real. So I wanna test that with both of them. Here's someone with kind of human features, but it's more of a mythological looking character. I wanted to do this one because it's a character who's kind of in profile. You can see both of his eyes the whole time and his nose. Sometimes the profile shots don't do very well. So I'm testing that. This is the last one. So one, one thing I wanna do with this one is also do a longer video. So all of these you'll notice are four seconds long. I wanted to do one that was a little bit longer to see how long we could push a talking character. So if I start in Pika, I'll go to my Explore tab. I'll click Image or Video down here at the bottom. I'll choose the Space Pilot for the first one. And then I'll click this button here that says Lip Sync. So both Pika and Runway have these options where you can choose voices. But since I already have 11 labs, I've generated audio for each of them. That way we're not comparing different voices. We're comparing the same exact voice with the same exact video. It, it makes a better comparison that way. So instead of choosing a voice from here, I'm gonna upload an audio file down here, choose my pilot, and then it gives me a little preview here. I'll attach it and continue. And this little bar here shows me that I can choose the whole, the whole audio will be covered in this video. So the audio is shorter than the video. And then I'll just click generate. All right, and then I'll do the next one. So I'll just um, close. So the, this is, by the way, this is another project that I'm working on for consistent characters. So if you are interested in using mid-journey consistent characters and talking characters, subscribe because I've got another video coming soon. All right, so we're gonna go image and video again. Choose our Gorgon looking woman. Go in here, choose hers, select, attach and continue and generate. All right, so those are generating. So I'm gonna do the other ones. Same thing for this monk. We're gonna go here, then we're gonna add that file. Attach and continue, generate. All right, and then for this last one, I'm gonna choose a longer audio file for this one. So I'm gonna do this with the four second video, attach and continue. And you'll see that it knows that the video isn't long enough to cover this audio, that the video is only four seconds long. And it tells me here, your video is longer than your audio. So I actually brought this into CapCut and I basically just took the video and then I added it again and reversed it. And it matches with the audio really well too. All right, so what I'm gonna do is add that longer video now. So I'm gonna go in here. This is this longer video. And I'm gonna go to lip sync, do the audio file. And now it doesn't give me that warning. I can do a nine second clip and it's not gonna cause any problems. So let's generate the long one. Now let's take a look at what would happen if we decided to do the image version of that. So I've got this image here. Um, so this is just a regular still image and I wanted to lip sync this longer audio. So the same audio that's nine seconds long. So even though it's an image, I can't do it with these generic voices um, with, where it's just using the text to audio. Um, I can see like here, it's like, okay, it's got seven seconds, great. I attach and continue, but it's still limiting me to three seconds. So if I choose a still image and a long audio, I only get three seconds. But if I upload a long video and a long audio, I can do nine seconds. So that's just a little tip if you're trying to do, if you're trying to do longer clips. This one's still going, so I'm gonna go to Runway right now and see how they do. If you're on the Runway page, you go down to Generative Audio. And I, I like this interface a little bit more. One reason is that you can actually preview the voices as you're going through. And then there's all of these um, sort of templates that you can choose from. They're fine, we're not gonna use the templates just cause like we wanna make our own stuff, right? So we have two different things. This is where we will add our face and this is where we're gonna add our voice. Um, so let's just start by uploading the audio. We're gonna take this one, start with our pilot again. 
So I'm going to upload the face to the pilot. It's going to detect it. So it keeps the motion here, which is really good. Um, I like that blink that he's got. And then we'll just, this is the audio. This is the video. We'll generate it. Let's do another one. All right, so we've got our audio. We've got our video. Do our monk. Generate. This is where we upload our longer audio and our longer video. So now we'll try and upload the longer audio and the shorter video. So here it says video shorter than the audio will be modified to match the length of the audio. Um, so in this case, I think what's going to happen is it will abbreviate it. So it's the same kind of thing. Um, I actually like the Pika version a little better. I like this part in Pika where you can actually see that it's gonna get cut off. There might be just one part of this that I'm more interested in and I can adjust it on the fly here and just generate the piece that I want. So I, I like this a lot more in Pika. So there's not currently anything like that in Runway. Um, I'm sure they'll come up with something. Right, I'm gonna download my Runway assets, which I can do in bulk, which is nice. So in Pika, I have to go and click the download button on each of the videos and download them that way. All right, here's the Pika pilot. I'll fly anything except a Boeing 737. And here's the runway pilot. I'll fly anything except a Boeing 737. I really think that the runway one is a lot better. There's more facial expression in the cheeks. I'll fly anything except a Boeing 737. The blink is really nice too. I know the blink is in the original. There's like a little bit of like jitteriness in the Pika mouth at the end there where it's trying to do something that you don't really get that here. For both of them, this was the test here to see how did it do with this kind of attachments around their faces. So I think it did great. Like I didn't notice anything here. There's something right up against the mouth and it there maybe a little bit. It did a little bit of like, you know, because it's connected, but that's not too bad. Although, you know, I think Pika didn't do that as much. It, so it separates. So in Pika, it does a better job of separating this out from the mouth. Let's try our Gorgon here next. These candles really cut down on my electric bill. It's pretty good. No complaints. Let's see how it does in Pika. These candles really cut down on my electric bill. Again, there's the little bit of like weird lip quiver at the end. This feels more like a ventriloquist mouth, if you know what I mean. I feel like the runway ones capture more of the facial expressions that happen when they're talking. Like you can see these, these muscles moving as she's expressing things. I don't think you get that here. You just get the mouth moving. So runways, I think, way better. Which should I do first? Duolingo or Wordle? So runway wouldn't do this one at all. And Pika did, which is good. But you can also see the quality, <laughs> like this is unusable at the same time. So they did it, but it's also not something that I would maybe use. So maybe there's like some way that they know like, all right, if it's, if we can't match it to this percentage, um, then don't do it. And that's what's happening with runway maybe. Whereas Pika is saying like, let's just give them something and let them decide if it's worth using or not. Maybe that style would actually work for the type of character that I'm doing if it was like a horror movie or something. All right, so this is our longer clip. Let's see how this one did in Runway. Even before this whole thing started, I always knew how it would end. So before it ends, I'm going to remember how it started. Again, like I can't explain, but it really makes it feel more real when you see all of this, all of the facial movements while the character is talking. Um, and when you're adding, when we're adding these camera motions in, you know, you do a camera motion in stable video or something, um, it really feels much more real. Let's see how Pika does. Even before this whole thing started, I always knew how it would end. So before it ends, I'm going to remember how it started. Like, do you see what I mean? Like when there's not that facial movement, it's just the lips. So it's, it's literal lip syncing. Whereas I, f I feel like what Runway is doing is more like actually how people talk. So in my mind, like Runway here is uh, way ahead of the game as usual. I think there's a lot of like little micro expressions that Runway captures that Pika doesn't that really helps it sell itself as a real person talking. Um, we're still not totally there yet. In terms of these two tools, I feel like 
it's getting very realistic. And on that note, so I have another video coming out around consistent characters and having them talk and creating movies with that. I think between talking characters in Runway and Pika and consistent characters in Mid Journey, I think that the next few months are just going to be a, an amazing time to be an AI filmmaker. So, so be sure you subscribe so you can get more tutorials like this. Thanks for watching.